I'm going to do a demonstration on how to wind your bobbin. So you already have your thread on your thread pin. And you're bringing the thread from here into the bobbin winder tension guide. And you're not wrapping it around. All you're doing is just having it click around the back of it. And you'll actually feel it click in. This is used to apply the pressure you need so that you have a constant tension as you're winding your bobbin. Then bring the end of your thread over and you're going to insert the end into the bobbin from the inside to the outside like that. And then you're going to place your bobbin on the bobbin winder spindle. And you'll just want to hold it gently so that there's about maybe about four or five inches. And then before you're ready to do the winding, you have to remember to pull the hand wheel out and you're going to hear it click. And then you're going to move this over to the right and you'll hear it click as well. Now you're ready to wind your bobbin. So I'm going to gently start pushing down on the pedal. Now after it's gone around a few times, you can cut this extra piece of thread off right by the hole. And then now you're ready to continue winding your bobbin. Okay, once you're done your winding, you have to make sure to remember to move this back over and it'll click. And then also you, you're gonna have to re-engage your hand wheel by pushing it back in. Otherwise you're not gonna be able to sew. And then you can just cut your thread and pull your wound bobbin off.